Hello everyone, my name is Hiroki. I am producer of War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XBS Global Version. Welcome everybody, my name is Justin. I am the community manager of War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XBS Global Version. Uh, War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is a new tactical RPG born from the Final Fantasy Brave Exvius universe, and it's now available on the Apple App Store, the Google Play Store, and the Amazon App Store. Due to the COVID-19 situation, we are not shooting this video from studio. Uh, we are recording this video remotely. That's correct, and we have a ton of information to share with everybody, and I'm really happy to be here. So without further ado, let's uh, start the video and share the good news. Sure thing, Justin. Let's go to our first announcement. Uh, so what is it that you're going to be sharing with us today, Hiroki? I'm glad you asked. Uh, we are mentioned in the latest program as of, of this September. Uh, it will be six months since the release of War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XVS. To mark the occasion, we are going to hold a six month anniversary campaign starting September 23rd. The first part of this uh, six month anniversary login bonus part one. If you log in during the, this period, uh, you can earn a rainbow fragment of sword and other materials needed for the training your unit and up to 2,500 visual. Next up, we have the 6 month anniversary part 1. Daily, you are guaranteed free 10 times summon! Yay! <clears throat> this will be available for 7 days from September 23rd to September 29th, World Time PST. So players will be able to perform up to 70 summons. In this summon, player receive one guaranteed UR unit or vision card. Alternating between a guaranteed UR unit on the first day, a guaranteed UR vision card on the second, and repeating so forth for the duration of the of the summon. This is extremely rewarding as players can get up to four UR unit and three UR vision card from it. So I hope everyone will make sure to play the game every day during the period and get those URs. Yeah that's right. This is a really good campaign. These are not going to stack up so you can perform them at the end. So be sure to log in every single day and do this summon. Uh, naturally, this is going to be really good for existing players, but if you're a new player, this is going to give you a really good head start. That's right. It can, it, it's a campaign that all players can enjoy. If, if, if anyone has friends or family who might be interested in playing War of the Vision FFBE, don't miss this chance to recommend it. So you can play together. We have a number of other campaigns that we think everyone will enjoy. So please keep an eye out of our future announcement. The six month anniversary isn't just about campaign. I would, not, I would now like to ask Justin to introduce a new unit and event. Uh, for sure, with pleasure. Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell everybody about the new unit that will be joining the fray from September 23rd. Uh, Knight of the Ruined Stern, clad in his golden armor given to him by Sadali, the leader of the Crystal Sanctum, will finally be available as a UR unit. He is a dark elemental unit, with his main job being Knight of Ruin, and his subjobs being Samurai and Assassin. Knight of Ruin Stern is an attacker with an array of powerful offensive abilities who along with Gilgamesh and Thancred has a unit cost of 100. An especially powerful ability of the Knight of Ruin job is Hazard Crusher, which consumes his own HP when activated. It lowers the defense of enemies within range before attacking them, making it an ability capable of dealing tremendous damage. He also has abilities he can use such as Catastrophe, which deals large damage to targets within range, 
plus Light Eater, and Double Attack, which deals 2 hit medium damage to a target plus Light Eater, giving him an edge over Light Element units. He has a powerful limit burst called Destructive Fang that deals large damage to a target and absorbs the damage dealt. Knight of Ruinstern can do even greater damage with any of these abilities by first using Roar of Ruin to raise his own attack and accuracy for 3 turns. Regarding his stats, he not only has high attack, but also high HP and luck, as well as resistances to slash, missile, and strike attack types, making him a unit that can perform as a durable attacker in a variety of situations. Furthermore, he boasts high resistance to charm, which allows him to boldly challenge units who can use Steelheart. However, he is slightly weak against pierce and magic attacks, so care will be needed when sending him into battle against units of that attack type. With his support ability Desperation, which significantly raises his attack and lowers all attack resistance, and acquired AP up level 1, he is able to raise his attack power and continuously bombard the enemy with his powerful abilities. Or, although it will lower his defense, you can raise his attack and evasion rate by setting his support ability to Blade Soul, or evasion up level 1. In addition to setting his subjob to Samurai, which will allow him to use the ability Illusion to raise his evasion rate even higher, improving his survivability on the battlefield. Also, by completing his character quest, which is unlocked when he reaches level 40, he acquires Defense Piercing Rate plus 20 and Slash Attack plus 10, allowing him to do consistent damage to enemies with high defense. Stern is the key character in the story, but as the player character. He's also an extremely powerful unit, well worth his 100 cost. We also plan to release other powerful units during the 6 month anniversary period, so keep your eye out for them too. Uh, moving along, I'd like to introduce a new event that will start from September 23rd called Trials of Reckoning. The Trials of Reckoning is an event in which players can earn medals and boss battle tickets by completing quests and then use the boss battle tickets that they've accumulated to challenge powerful bosses. The medals that you earn can be used for the event summon, where you can obtain rare 10 times summon tickets, crafting recipes for the UR equipment item ribbon, crafting materials, and much more. The quests and boss battles both have normal and hard difficulty levels. Players will have the choice to choose which difficulty level they want to take on based on the power level of their units. In the boss battle, even if you aren't able to defeat the boss in one attempt, the damage you deal will carry over to the next fight so you can attempt it as many times as it takes to win. In the Trials of Reckoning, players will accumulate points based off their actions in battle for things such as the amount of damage taken and the number of chains performed and earn rewards based off their final point total. There will also be individual rankings and guild rankings where players will be competitively ranked by the points that they've earned and given rewards based off their final ranking. Some units will gain a point bonus, so it's definitely worth it to try adding them to your party to earn as many points as you can. The UR Equipment Item Ribbon is a legacy item in the Final Fantasy series. It's an accessory that increases evasion, stop resistance, and slow resistance. Besides these bestowed effects, you can also enhance the ribbon to increase its HP, defense, spirit, evasion, and crit evasion bonuses, making it a very useful accessory for any unit. Don't miss your chance to try it out in the Trials of Reckoning. Our next announcement is... The War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Experience Character Poll! Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who is the most popular character in War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave XBS? That's what we are going to find out. Player will be able to access our special website and, and vote once per day for their favorite character. The voting period will be for three weeks from September 23rd to October 14th. So don't forget to vote and support the character you like. Uh, yeah, that's right. So, Hiroki, what happens with the character that's voted number one? And will the players get anything special out of this? 
the certainly will. The character with the owner of the being boarded number one will be made into a UR unit with the all new design. Also, based on the total number of boards, player can receive a rainbow vision sphere and other in-game items. So the more everyone board, the better. The result of the poll and the date of the new unit release will be announced in game in game and on social media. So keep an eye out. Yeah, definitely. This is pretty exciting. Uh, so please check out the in-game notices for the URL of the special website and some of the other details that are going to show up. I really look forward to seeing what everybody's going to vote for. So get those votes in. In this segment of the program, we're going to respond to some of the questions that we've received from the War of Divisions FFBE community. Uh, I'm ready when you are, Hiroki. Let's get, let's get down to business. All right, good to hear. Uh, let's jump into the first question here. So, are there going to be any improvements made to the red training chamber drop rates or other ways to obtain high level job materials? And in general, a lot of people feel that War of Divisions can take a long time to grind. So are there going to be any improvements you'd like to mention that are coming as well? We've received a lot of feedback that the farming quest and mission to train character is time consuming, especially as players tend to run out of job memories and elemental alchemists. In response to this, we've decided to adjust the item drop for the training chamber and alchemist chamber. In the red and yellow training chambers, job memory will be more likely to drop. And in the alchemist chamber, we have in increased the amount of corresponding element alchemists that drop from a quest. For the time being, we are only going to be adjusting those two quests, but we intended to keep out eye on the balance of the game and listen to player feedback in order to continue updating to the game so that we can make it more enjoyable for, for all players. So please feel free to share your opinion and feedback about the quest in the comments of the video or on our community site. We are also going to be adding skip tickets that can be used for quests within the day training tab of events such as the EXP chamber and or chamber. Although these tickets cannot be used for limited quests within the limited tab of events, we plan on expanding the range of applicable quests in the future. Awesome. That's good to hear. I Increased drop rates and things are always a, always a good thing to see. Uh, so let's move on to the next question here. Um, are there going to be any improvements made to crafting? And it can take a lot of time to grind all the materials that are needed to make high-level equipment and ensure that it has proper stats. The development team is aware that crafting plus five equipment items takes a lot of time. So in the future update, we plan to implement features that allow players to craft items from plus one to plus five all at once, providing they have the crafting materials to do so. It will also be possible to perform awakings up to five star in the same manner. Furthermore, we have received the feedback that players often lack specific seals that are used to help that increases. When enhancing an equipment item. This will also be addressed in the future update, which will all allow seals to be swapped for other seals at the item exchange shop. For example, you will be able to exchange two attack seals for an 
Divergence Seal. We plan to make this addition to the item exchange shop in the near future. The feature for crafting at all at once will come a little later, so we ask for your patience until it's ready. Uh, yes, please, a little patience. And also, thank you very much for answering these questions, Roki. Uh, War of Divisions, we value all the feedback that we get from the players, and I encourage everybody to keep posting it where you post it, on social media or any other websites uh, that you do currently. Uh, the team will definitely keep an eye out, and the questions that we've answered above don't represent all the topics that we discuss, it's just part of it, so keep an eye out for any improvements or any questions uh, in future videos. Uh, that being said, I think it's about time to wrap things up. But before we say goodbye, allow me to introduce the present we have prepared for the players to commemorate, commemorate this video. These presents will be available to each and every player. We hope you look forward to their delivery. Players can also get a variety of wonderful rewards from the six month anniversary countdown quest currently being held. So don't forget to play the quest too. Uh, yes, thank you for preparing the presents. As always, uh, that list of presents is pretty good. I had to do a double take when I was looking at that. Um, but yes, don't forget to perform the sixth month anniversary part one daily UR guaranteed free 10 times summon that we mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, having said that, I definitely think that it's really about time to wrap up this video. Thanks to everyone's dedication. It has been half a year since the release of War of the Visions Final Fantasy Brave Exvius. The development team Justin and I will continue to work hard to provide a service that everyone can enjoy. And we would be honored to have you continued support. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, yes, thank you everybody that has watched this video today and we will definitely be seeing you again in the future. But for now, we have to say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.